welcome to another video. My name is Mickey and today you will be the first ones to see 9 bar espresso with an AeroPress. Real espresso with an AeroPress. It's not a myth anymore. If you don't want to listen to all my blah 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 how to build this, you can skip forward. There are chapter markers below in case you watched my previous videos. You saw that with my body weight on top of the AeroPress, I could get up to 3 bar of pressure, which actually is already quite fine. But if you look at James Hoffman's definition of what espresso actually is, we would need 6 to 9 bars of pressure. Well, if I need 9 bar, actually that's about 240 kilograms of weight on top in order to gain 9 bars of pressure inside the chamber here. Basically, a five-month-old baby elephant has about that weight. It's a little tricky to invite a baby elephant on top of your AeroPress anytime you want an espresso, so maybe not the right way to go. Then I had a moment. The basic principle is very similar to my previous videos. The only difference is that I will not use my body weight to introduce the pressure, but I will use CO2 gas. Does the AeroPress even hold that much pressure? I got myself this kind of huge uh, tool that is uh, usually for welding where you can connect also a soda string bottle like this. All you need is a small adapter. One bottle will give you about 70 espresso shots. Actually inside a bottle of like that, believe it or not, is about 50 bar of pressure. And actually 10.5 bar is the limit of this specific uh, pressure reducer. So you, I will never get beyond 10.5 bar, which is good, because I don't need that much. Actually for espresso, all I want is 9 bar. I have to say, I'm really impressed by the build quality. Actually, the whole thing is built really well. For about two years now, I've been pressing with my whole body weight on top of the AeroPress. Maybe I made five, 600 espresso already like that. Nothing broke ever on the AeroPress. It's amazing. And now for the last weeks I have been testing with 9 bar and the AeroPress itself never broke. In one of our first tests when I tried to see how much pressure the AeroPress can take, I had the piston very on the very top. That means I had to fill the whole AeroPress itself with gas and doing like that actually you can see in my video which I will show you that the AeroPress itself becomes like a balloon almost through the high pressure. It never broke, even after 10 minutes of 10 bar, it never broke, but it extended quite obvious. So I would not go much higher than 10 bar on your AeroPress ever. Just to say it once, it might not be safe. So I made, I think about 30 or 40 espresso now with nine bar on the AeroPress. And what I do now, I have the plunger almost completely inserted totally. So there's just a little bit space left here. Since the surface area of the AeroPress that has to withstand the high pressure is much smaller, also the risk that it breaks is much smaller. So I'm always pushing my espresso shots now like this. One thing I want to say though, working with high pressure gas is dangerous. If you do this yourself, please know that it's your own responsibility to do it in a way that you yourself don't get hurt and no one else get hurt when you buy the tools, please make sure that everything is rated for at least 10 bar of pressure. All the things I bought are rated for 15 bar of pressure, just to have some headroom. And for my espresso, I never use more than 9 bar. One time the filter cap actually broke into many pieces, as you can see here. <laughs> but this was also my mistake, because the basket I had inside the AeroPress was not leveled, it, it was a little bit tilted. So actually one edge of the basket was pressing against the cup and had a very high pressure on one small area and that's why it broke. Since I used the method where it's always flat attached to the AeroPress, never anything happened, nothing broke, it works totally fine. What you see here is all you need for your nine bar espresso. First of all, you need an AeroPress with the modification that I showed in this video. That is the AeroPress mod, that's how we start. Then we have the plunger mod, 
where we introduce a hole here. So once it's inserted, we can introduce pressure through this pipe into the aeropress. How do we introduce it? Well, the first thing I got, I got many different things actually, but this seems to work pretty well. You can use this in conjunction with one of the CO2 capsules. Usually it's made to fill up your flat tire on your bicycle. But you can also make an espresso, why not? Or if you want actually, you can even attach something like that. If you are at home, you can use this. The way how to do it, you connect it to the pipe. I also added a pressure gauge so we can actually see how much power we make. And the, the third end is connected to the aeropress. So basically that is the setup. One problem we have though, once we start introducing pressure here, the piston will automatically come out and shoot out like a, like a rocket basically. So what I had to do, I had to build a small table here, which you can put directly onto a glass, insert the aeropress, you lock it in place. As you can see, there's a hole where the coffee will come out. And by introducing pressure from the CO2 here, through the blue pipe into the aeropress, nine bar will be created inside here and press out the hot water that's sitting on top into your glass. No need to go on top and put your whole body weight. You can all do it with one knob sitting on your couch and enjoying watching, seeing your espresso coming out of your aeropress. It's almost romantic. So let's do it. Nine bar aeropress espresso. Yes. We are using 16 grams of dark roast coffee at 11 clicks on the Commandante on the red axle, which is actually pretty fine. Oof, at this fine setting, it takes quite some time, but it's worth it. We put the 16 grams of coffee into our professional espresso basket. Distribution tool. Then we add the screen with a clip on top. Next we insert it into the filter cap. We add the gasket. Finally, we attach it to the aeropress. To also show you the bottom of the naked filter, I have some legs here that I can screw in here. So you actually can see below. 50 milliliter of 85 degree hot water. Next, we add the plunger and we put it all the way down so that there's just very little space left here. We put it on top here and then we lock it inside. Next we connect the pipe to the gauge and to the pressure valve. And finally we connect the CO2. Make sure it is closed when we start. I'm just showing you this now, but usually this can be already inserted from the beginning. So, here we are. And let me show you espresso from an Aeropress with 9 bar. Let's start with some pre-infusion, about 2 bar. Now we are done. Let's go all the way to 9. And we have a beautiful espresso shot. A lot of crema, oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Yes, we did it. We did it, and a lot of crema. Look at this nice cup of coffee. I'm excited, are you too? 
Espresso, Aeropress, no mood. Mm, super creamy, super rich, a lot of texture, many flavors, like espresso should be. One really nice thing when working with this pressure system is that during the whole process of making your espresso, you have full control over the pressure. So for example, if you want to make pre-infusion, you can decide to do it with one bar or two bar or maybe even three bar, depending on your roast, on your grind size or however you like your coffee. You can all monitor it through the pressure gauge. So the whole process of, of making coffee, of making espresso in this case actually, you have full control over the pressure from beginning to end. I'm so happy I could show this to you today. The world's probably smallest and cheapest and most portable espresso maker you can find or you can make yourself. I hope you got something out of this video today. Hope to see you anytime soon. And if you really want to subscribe, please only do it if you also promise to do something good today. Please do something good, be super nice to someone, and we have a better world. Thank you for watching.